Yeah, I would certainly agree to this. Um, as I said earlier this morning in the first panel, um, the, the overall deforestation rate globally is declining, but uh, degradation is increasing. And uh, so there's a, there's a huge number of areas globally that are already degraded. And if we want to achieve the SDGs, or if we want to achieve the climate goals, or if we want to achieve the biodiversity targets, we have to restore. So I would agree with this statement. CPF is a partnership that consists of 14 international organizations with significant programs and on forests. And each of these organizations, in one way or the other, is engaged in restoration efforts already. And um, just to give an example, this morning we heard from Guatemala. Uh, Guatemala is, is strongly uh, developing uh, a natural restoration plan and is supported by a number of partners in this endeavor, including FAO, one of the partners of the CPF, and there are many other examples as well. Well, I mean, this is an easy question because that's, that's uh, specifically the objective of this meeting here today. This is why we organized a meeting on forest, landscape, and ecosystem restoration at the COP13 because, um, as you have heard, you know, there is a strong uh, focus on mainstreaming biodiversity across the sectors, and restoration is also not uh, an, an issue that is only concerning forests, but it's really across the landscape, so it fits very well with the restoration topic. And the CBD is also um, deciding on restoration plans, so CPF is supporting this um, political process through this event today. The key message is really that the CPF is committed to restoration and the CPF is committed to supporting countries and initiatives in achieving their restoration goals.